Book of Enoch. The words of the blessing of Enoch, wherewith he blessed the elect and righteous, who will be living in the day of tribulation, when all the wicked and godless are to be removed. And he took up his parable and said, Enoch, a righteous man, whose eyes were opened by God, saw the vision of the Holy One in the heavens, which the angels showed me. And from them I heard everything, and from them I understood as I saw. But not for this generation, but for a remote one which is for to come. Concerning the elect, I said, and took up my parable concerning them. The Holy Great One will come forth from his dwelling, and the eternal God will tread upon the earth, even on Mount Sinai, and appear from his camp, and appear in the strength of his might from the heaven of heavens, and all shall be smitten with fear, and the watchers shall quake, and great fear and trembling shall seize them unto the ends of the earth. And the high mountain shall be shaken, and the high hill shall be made low, and shall melt like wax before the flame. And the earth shall be wholly rent and sunder, and all that is upon the earth shall perish, and there shall be a judgment upon all men. But with the righteous he will make peace, and will protect the elect, and mercy shall be upon them. And they shall all belong to God, and they shall be prospered, and they shall all be blessed. And he will help them all, and light shall appear unto them, and he will make peace with them. And behold, he cometh with ten thousands of his holy ones to execute judgment upon all, and to destroy all the ungodly, and to convict all flesh of all the works of their ungodliness which they have ungodly committed, and of all the hard things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Observe ye everything that takes place in the heaven, how they do not change their orbits, and the luminaries which are in the heaven, how they all rise and set in order each in its season, and transgress not against their appointed order. Behold ye the earth, and give heed to the things which take place upon it from first to last, how steadfast they are, how none of the things upon the earth change, but all the works of God appear to you. Behold the summer and the winter, how the whole earth is filled with water and clouds and dew and rain lie upon it. Observe and see how in the winter all the trees seem as though they had withered and shed all their leaves, except fourteen trees which do not lose their foliage, but retain the old foliage from two to three years till the new comes. And again, observe ye the days of summer, how the sun is above the earth, over against it, and you seek shade and shelter by reason of the heat of the sun. And the earth also burns with glowing heat, and so you cannot tread on the earth, or on a rock, by reason of its heat. Observe ye how the trees cover themselves with green leaves and bear fruit. Wherefore give ye heed, and know with regard to all his works, and recognize how he that liveth forever hath made them so. And all his works go on thus from year to year forever, and all the tasks which they accomplish for him, and their tasks change not, but according as God hath ordained, so it is done. And behold how the sea and the rivers in like manner accomplish and change not their tasks from his commandments. But ye, ye have not been steadfast, nor done the commandments of the Lord. But ye have turned away and spoken proud and hard words with your impure mouths against his greatness. O ye hard-hearted, ye shall find no peace. Therefore shall you execrate your days, and the years of your life shall perish, and the years of your destruction shall be multiplied in eternal execration, and ye shall find no mercy. In those days ye shall make your names an eternal execration unto all the righteous, and by you shall all who curse, curse, and all the sinners and godless shall imprecate by you, and for you, the godless, there shall be a curse, and all the shall rejoice, and there shall be forgiveness of sins, and every mercy and peace and forbearance. There shall be salvation unto them, a goodly light. And for all of you sinners there shall be no salvation, but on you shall abide a curse. But for the elect there shall be light and joy and peace, and they shall inherit the earth. And then there shall be bestowed upon the elect wisdom, and they shall all live and never again sin either through ungodliness or through pride. But they who are wise shall be humble, and they shall not again transgress, nor shall they sin all the days of their life, nor shall they die of the divine anger or wrath, but they shall complete the number of the days of their life. 
and their lives shall be increased in peace, and the years of their joy shall be multiplied in eternal gladness and peace all the days of their life. A fragment from the book of Noah. And it came to pass when the children of men had multiplied that in those days were born unto them beautiful and comely daughters. And the angels, the children of the heaven, saw and lusted after them, and said to one another, Come, let us choose us wives from among the children of men, and beget us children. And Simjaza was their leader, and said unto them, I fear you will not indeed agree to do this deed, and I alone shall have to pay the penalty of a great sin. And they all answered him and said, Let us all swear an oath, and all bind ourselves by mutual imprecations not to abandon this plan, but to do this thing. Then swear they all together, and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. And they were in all two hundred who descended in the days of Jared on the summit of Mount Hermon, and they called it Mount Hermon because they had sworn and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. And these are the names of their leaders, Simeazaz their leader, Arakiba, Ramael, Kokabael, Tamiel, Ramiel,